Yes, man, I am the GOAT Fly Guy DC. Hey, man, it's an honor to say this right now. You know what I'm saying? I grew up as a fan of this guy right here. He just walked in the building, man. Uh, super, I, call, I call him Super Future. I know you go by Hendrix now. The Wizard. The Wizard. My bad. So wizard. many split personalities. <laughs> I still call him Super. What's up? Future, how's it going, sir? Man, it's good. It's good. It's good to be here. First yeah. and foremost, how's life? How's everything been? Lovely. Lovely. Happy. You know what I'm saying? Working. Um, Future. 2010, 2011, all the way to 2019, what's the biggest change? The money. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah, like the that. Like the is really bright now. I see the baguettes <laughs> over there. You know what I'm saying? Um, new album out. Now, one of my favorite uh, songs on the album is um, Crushed. Um, it's another one on there. What's that? What's that song that we like that we played on the radio? Which one? We played like two. Of them. Oh, we played yeah. first. One, we played like four. Of them yeah, on the radio. Corey Center. Uh, what's the one that we played and we ran it back like four times? Yeah, jumping out the gym. Huh? Jumping out the gym. Jumping out the gym. I like that one. Appreciate what, you, man. What, what, where was you at mentally when you when you did that? Like, was I was really when I was recording and it was just, it happened by mistake. I think it was feedback on the mic and it kept on saying jumping off the gym. It was just like some triple six mafia. Like, Remind me of Triple Six Mafia. Yeah. And it just, it, it happened by mistake, like the reverb from the mic. I just kept it and made it the hook. Wow. Now, you, you've accomplished so much um, thus far in your career. Is there anything that you feel like you still need to do or that needs to be done with your brand? Uh, but just for the label and just everybody around me being successful. I want everybody around me just to be just as successful as me. You know what I'm saying? And do it the right way. So it's like so many obstacles obstacles come up and in front of you along the way and you know young artists you get a first hit or whatever it's just like you know what i'm saying they already feel like they're reaching their peak at their first hit they're doing so much so just take your time you know what i mean i want them to just have real success mm -hmm. now speaking of the label the cult free bands um you got a lot of young talent in there you just signed dope boy to free bands guap is under free bands yeah. um how can a they were supposed to be on the way they got pulled over by the police oh, oh damn. damn they were behind they're me they're good they're gonna be and my driver up. went through a yellow light i'm like why you go through the yellow light you know they were gonna follow me Man. two like two cars went behind me and the police pulled them over i hope they're good yeah mm -hmm. i hope they're good too now how can a, a a young artist or somebody who's listening to this interview catch the eye of future what catches your eye when you're looking for somebody to bring up for at the beginning, it was just about you had to be from the streets, so you just had to be around me. But that now it's just more of like you know it's different now. When I first came, like Doughboy, he been around me for damn seven years. Then Guap is my little cousin, so it ain't like I just got any artists that I just met and I just was introduced to you. Only every artist around me either was from the streets or they were from my neighborhood or they my real family. Mm -hmm. Now, what's a what's a common misconception that 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 you would like to clear up just in general about future that? The public may see or that the people may think or, or wonder what's something that you would like to clear up about your name uh man i'm a good guy you know what i'm saying at the end of the day it's just like the perception of me i just i grab I, uh embrace what people ever whatever people felt about me because i felt just like it, it just make great music you know what i'm saying but that's because it's music it ain't like who i am people get caught up in uh, the music or uh, or like comments and shit like you know what i'm saying but i don't I don't worry about that. Like my son out there, my father. At the end of the day, I just love music. I'm passionate about music, but the way people look at me is just the way they look at me. They don't understand. They don't know what, what uh, what's behind the comments, or they don't know what's behind the scenes. You know what I'm saying? They don't be around me day to day. They're just going off what they hear. So it ain't really nothing I want to clear up. And just whatever you think about me, just keep thinking and just keep supporting me or whatever, good or bad. I just want to make sure I'm just prepared for everything. I don't know, like. I don't worry about it, nothing. Like I'm in my own. You gotta have a ton of vision, and it's, mm -hmm. there's so many trials and tribulations you're gonna go through. You know what I'm saying? And if you keep focusing on the negative or focusing on anything that's not part of your vision, it's gonna throw you off. So you gotta have a vision. It's like that's all I can say. Um, you've been you've been doing so much music, and um, when do you think future is going to be just hang it up and be more so on the executive side because I see you kind of still doing both you still you the artist 
And do you, you the executive? Do you, is Future ever gonna stop doing music? No, nah, I can't stop doing music. I don't know how I feel. I've been going to the studio every day. I've been going to the studio like every day straight for like 10 years. Even if I have a show, I still do some music. So find a way to record and I just don't know how to not record. You know what I'm saying? It's just hard for me to get away from it. So do you think you reach your peak yet as an artist? I don't think I reach my peak yet as an artist. Just finding a way to, uh, like just being consistent. You know what I'm saying? I just do it my way. Like my way is my way. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So for anybody else, it might be something else. But for me, I feel like I'm still being consistent. I feel like I'm getting better. Now, when it comes to, to the game, as far as an all-around artist, people consider you um, one of the top when it comes to fashion. What is your take on that? Yeah, I'm the top when it comes to fashion. You be driven now. I ain't <laughs> and, uh, there's no one out there that can dress better than me, I feel like. <laughs> <laughs> now, are you serious to me? I know. I know. Ain't no, no bad smirk or, or anything. Like, yeah, like, because I'm from Atlanta where people, we didn't get our credit for us the way we dress. Mm -hmm. People think like Atlanta can't dress, Atlanta artists can't dress. Then when I came in the game, I switched it up. Like a lot of people was talking about designer and they, and they raps. But when I when I came out and I started talking about a designer, now everybody made, I made it more clever. I made it more trendy. You know what I'm saying? When I started saying designer and started mentioning certain designers in my, in my, uh, Yeah, you were saying designers I never heard before. I had to Google it. Yeah, so. It just for us that, you know what I'm saying? Like, it is what it is. Like, you might have been doing it before me, but I made people recognize it. You might have been, people might have been talking about lean before me, but when I started doing it in Dirty Sprite, that's when everybody made the Dirty Sprite. I yeah. 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 made it official. When I said turn up, it was more official. Facts. Even when I started saying anything, if I say whatever, if I say spill, if I say, when me and Thug did no cap, yeah, people might say no cap, but when we did no cap, that would made it official. Facts, facts. We said no cap. It's like anything I say is golden. So no matter who hot, no matter what who you see, until I say it, until I wear it, it ain't right. Absolutely. Now, uh, speaking of that, uh, you saying that you wearing it, is Gucci canceled? Uh, man, I bought Gucci before I got canceled. Like, so I'm still gonna wear it because that's my money. If you wanna mm -hmm. get my money back, then we can talk because I'm business, man. Absolutely. You know, I got so you. you can buy my clothes back if you want me to not wear it, but you just can't <laughs> tell me. Because I don't feel like they did it out of Ill, Ill intentions, mm -hmm. but it ain't for me to judge. You know what I'm saying? Everybody yeah. always want to judge somebody before having a real conversation with the designer. Y'all haven't had no conversation with the designer. Y'all don't know nothing about the background of the designer. The designer mama could be black. The designer daddy could be black. The designer could be black. Like, they don't even understand. They're just going off of what somebody say off a comment. I can't go off a comment. I just don't know how to do that. That would be ignorant of me. Now, uh, I know you've been... Definitely into the fashion. I remember you came out with these Reeboks. Oh, is man. Gonna be, is there going to be another? I wish I would have brought mine. I, I got mine too. I brought them yesterday, <laughs> but I didn't bring them today. Uh, is there, there going to be another collaboration with the, sneaker, with the sneakers too? It'll probably be. You know what I'm saying? I'm still in my deal, but at the end of the day, I'm at the, I'm at the, like, the last part of my deal. Mm -hmm. We're renegotiating. But. So right now, you get like, do you get like a limited Reeboks? Yeah, for sure. Right. Man, oh man. Well, look, don't go nowhere. Don't touch the dial. The Wizard is in the building. Keep it locked right here when you got it at. 3945. Now, let's uh, talk a little bit about The Wizard. I mean, uh, crazy, crazy album right there. Um, Good, huh? Insane <laughs> album. Is that Guap? Yeah, Guap. My little brother just walked yeah, in the building. Uh, now, what was the... Because the last couple of projects or, or pieces of art that you've dropped have been incredible. Um, you had the, the, the hip hop and then you took it to the R and B with the Hendrix, the, the 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 switch up in that one. But when it came to the wizard, you, you basically did everything on one. What made you switch it back and go back to that routine? It was just like me just after nine years, me just going all the way back to the places and just uh refreshing everybody and for us just bringing everybody up to date to where I'm at right now. Just like I feel like the wizard was just a warm up for the next five, ten years for what I'm about to do. Mm -hmm. oh, wow. It wasn't just like I'm trying to put my all in all, all my uh, eggs in one basket. I'm just giving people just a taste of what's about to come. You know what I'm saying? Like I've been working in the studio. I feel comfortable about the music that I'm about to put out. I feel comfortable about the direction where I'm going. You know what I'm saying? So your so. collaboration um, work is always great too. Uh, I want to take it back to one of my favorite ones you did, the one with you and Drake. Um, who initiated that? Was you guys just vibing in the studio and then it was like? It was something we was always talking about. Okay. You know what I'm saying? We just always talking about. We just love to collaborate with each other. So it's good anytime we get a chance to get in the studio and work with each other. 
Is there, some, is, is there something, something else coming from y'all too? Is it part of the collab? Nah, we just working, you know what I'm saying? I, right now he overseas doing his tour, mm -hmm. and I gotta go overseas. I gotta go to China, and to Russia, or whatever. And so I'm gonna be on tour, I'm going overseas. For a second, I gotta be over there for like four months. I'm gonna come back and try to kick off a tour over here and see where it go from there. Now, if you had to choose one song off The Wizard that meant the most to you, when you was writing it, from when you went in the studio, you got in the booth, and then even when you still here day to day, what song off that album means the most to you and why? Uh, Tricks on me. <laughs> That's, That's my favorite. Yeah. That's the now song. why is that? That's the song we played. Just because it just represents Atlanta, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. the Tricks of Atlanta, the deep down side, and it just so many tragedies that's done happened over the time with so many people that's close to me. You know, I don't ever tweet about certain things and speak on it. I feel like that was a way to get my emotions off right there with tricks on me. Mm -hmm. Now, is there any projects that the people can expect from Future uh, before the end of this year? Yeah, I remember mean, uh, several projects coming out. You know what I mean? Now, I mean, is Future going back to the old Future? And what's Future we getting? Yeah, what, because each time you give them a, a different it's a different, different dab. Gotta, yeah, it's, it's, it's different it's every time. It's going to be special. I promise you, they're going to love it. Like, this gonna be some, it's going to be a number one. I know I'm going to get a number, another number one before the year out. Mm. Now, one of the most number ones ever. Uh, free band game. I always see um, when you're not in town, of course, they always represent well in the city. Um, and you got a lot of artists. Uh, one of my partners, uh, Joey Dollar. Yeah. Um, talk to us about free band game and like you know the artists on there and like let's talk about them because I know yeah, Zoe Dollars. He just got a hit too. He just he just he got a, a dope record out right now. Um, How we're paying. And it's doing good here in Miami. He working. And Guap, he got a good record out right now. That Block Boy. And Doughboy, he got a good record out right now. That Minivan. Guap, so, we need that clean, sir. Yeah, they doing good. You know what I'm saying? They're just moving, just working. So what can the people expect from, I mean, they know what they expect from Future, but what can they expect from, from, from Free Bands? Just uh, originality, a crazy work ethic. You know what I mean? And just solid guys. Last question. Where did uh, Free Bands come from? Like, how did it originate? It originated in the streets. We sent free bands, you know, we get money or whatever, and then we just made it out of a business. And just, it came for free opportunity to just get how much ever money you want. It's just like it's like a big world, and there's so many job opportunities, and so many opportunities for you to just gotta take advantage of. Like, I'm a guy just take advantage of just waking up. Just for me to wake up, I'm gonna take advantage of, take advantage of it, and um, get me some money. Get some Is that Super Bowl ring you're, you're wearing right there? Yeah, this is the free band Super Bowl ring. Right? Wow. <laughs> and before you get up out of here, part two of the Wizard documentary. Is that coming? Are we going to get that? Yeah, the part two coming. Is there a date? I'm excited, oh, I'm excited about the part two because the part two actually going to start from the beginning. Certain things I didn't show you about my family, I didn't show you about my, my crew around me, I didn't show you how I move. It's certain things I didn't want to open up about, but it's certain things I did to let my fans understand me a little more. But it's going to be a definite part two. Just like that, man. The Wizard, Future, Hendrix, Pluto Thank you, sir. We in the building. You, and it, it's like my last radio interview. Ah, oh, wait. cool. We made it. So we time. made it. Wait, wait, wait. Say that again? Because I wasn't doing any radio interviews no more. This is my last radio interview. But I, I, I wanted to do Ferrari. I wanted to do make sure. Hey, man. That's why, hey, that's why I was a little choked up in the beginning. Yeah, like, <laughs> you don't understand. <laughs> I didn't want to do no 95. This means a lot. I, did, I, I told him I wasn't going to do 94 or 5 unless it was with y'all. Thank like, you, man. Back when I dropped the album, I was supposed to do it. I was like, only I'm only gonna go up for Ferrari Simmons That's what two chances. DC because I feel like y'all the new wave. Like ten years from now, y'all gonna be the one who running the city. Right down. This means like like seriously, like, this means a lot, bro. Like I don't think you understand. Like we've helped and and branded and and helped put on so many people and just to have you in here after seeing you in the club every yeah. night that we hosting or he Damn, did, man, you like this just means a lot head, man though. we really really appreciate yeah, I'm more, it i'm more you know i've been in it for a minute and i seen y'all come up so i just even when i'm in the club it don't even matter mm. you don't even say my name i'm enjoying just watching your growth i'm just sitting back you know what i'm saying i'm done got did everything i supposed to do in my career I don't be trying to just hate on nobody. I'm just trying to show love, make sure you get that where you was supposed to go, Dang. and just see you in your element, see you now you're having fun. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I get out of it most more than anything, and just watching it, watching the growth, and seeing when you go and do your hostings, but when you have your own show and seeing your, you know what I'm saying? It's so much more you finna do. You know what I mean? I'm just 
I'm a fan of it. Man, I appreciate that, y'all. man. That means you, a man. lot. Love. Y'all see what's going on, man. The Wizard, Future, Hendrix, Pluto, all of that. Oh. Yes. Keep it locked. Streets 945.